Hey guys, what's up? Pew Wolf here, and welcome back to CNPC Tutorials. Today, guys, I'm just going to be taking a look at the display tab and showing everything to you guys so you can get your NPCs looking as good as possible. So, let's just go right here to the dock. I think right here would be a good place to do it. And let's just create an NPC, put them down right here. Now, we're only going to be going through the display tab, and I'm going to explain everything on here. And it's just because I want to make it short quick and easy for you guys, I don't want to overload you with everything, and then we'll get into these other tabs in later videos, I mean, we're only in the third episode, guys, and I still have a lot to go over with you guys, so don't worry, a lot of other stuff's coming, if you have anything you want to know, leave it in the comments below, and I will try to get to everything that you guys want me to, so first of all, with the name, this is pretty self-explanatory, for this, we'll just call him YouTube. So we have YouTube right here. If we exit out of here, you'll see that his name's YouTube. It appears over his head. We go back into him right here. You can either show his name, hide his name, or only show it when attacking. So right now, it's hidden, but if you were to attack him and you were in game mode 0 or game mode uh, 2, adventure mode or survival mode, then his name will pop up and try to attack you. And so, now that we have all that understood, now we come to title, basically what you can do here, you can put whatever text you want, and then it will pop up above his name if it is actually showing, so right here it says YouTube, test, under it, so you could put traitor or whatever, if you want to be a little more detailed on what this NPC is when his name's actually showing. Now we go over to modeling right here, and with the model you can go in and edit everything, so you make your guy look really weird, like right now he has like a pancake sort of head, go into the body, mess around with some of those settings, and we go in to the arms right here, and now he has really thin arms, then his legs, he looks really <laughs> creepy, but you can just play around with the scale of all that. Then you can actually go into each different category, so for the head, we can then go to headwear, and we can give him some stuff if he were wearing anything, so if we go to the hair right here, start giving him some stuff, uh, since our model's so weird, uh, it will look kind of weird on him. But as you can see, he has hair right here, we could change the color of it, so if we wanted to give him red hair, uh, we could just go around and change all this stuff up. So let's go back over here, now we have mohawk, beard, you guys can just play around with all of this. And then up here, if you want to, you can change the actual model, so we make him a bat, a blaze, cave spider, pretty much any entity in the game. And then if we load models right here, these are models that no pets has actually already made. So here's like a wolf sword creature, we have an orc male, female, we have humans, we have an ender chibi, I think that's how we pronounce it, hopefully. Uh, we have elf male, just all these different things for you guys to look at. Then if we get out of all that, then we'll go on to size. If we change that to 10, it can go th from 1 to 30. 10 makes him really big. Uh, if you made him 30, he would be absolutely ginormous, as you're about to see. He looks like a giant in uh, the game, so let's just put him back down, put him back down, we can put him to one, then will be like super tiny in his hitbox, it's like almost impossible to get, <laughs> but um, let's just put him back to five for now, then textures, this is an important part guys, because not only can you affect different textures, most people don't know that you can actually click up, and you can go through all these different things, so if we wanted this Steve right here to for some reason have a orc skin instead, you can actually do that, you're not d uh, restricted to what actual category the player model's in, so right now we have an even creepier looking guy, uh, then we go into cape, once again, self-explanatory, give him a cape, this is a little off since uh, he, his torso's right there, but normally it'd be in the right spot, guys. Uh, we go to overlays, we can put different overlays over his eyes, so now he's wearing like a green sword of goggles. Uh, I almost forgot right here in texture, guys. Uh, you can actually go through and you can change it to a player texture in which you type in someone's name, so if I changed it to my name right here, Peter Wolf. It would actually normally give him my skin, but since we're on a server, it's a little bugged out. I don't know if it's just with this version or not. This used to work, guys. 
but let's just change his skin back. You also have URL, so you can give the URL directly to a texture through AdFly or anything, I believe, and it'll actually come up right here. So right now, let's just keep him on the textures. This is my favorite thing to do, guys, just put on the textures, just because that way you can ensure that no matter what, the texture will always pop up for that person. So now we have have living animation. If we set to no, as you can see, his arms his arms aren't swaying. He's just kind of static. If we give him animations, then as you can see, his hands have a little bit of a sway to him, and he just seems a little more lively. Then we go to visibility. Yes, no, partially. If it's partially, then like he's kind of see through, as you can see. No obviously makes him invisible. And then boss bar. Once again, you can either show it, and then up at the top right here, it says YouTube. Or you can show it when attacking, or you can hide it. And then when you hit hide, there you go, it just goes away. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Once again, if you have anything you need covered in custom NPCs, I've been working with this program for almost two years now. I know pretty much everything there is to know about it. So just leave your suggestions or questions in the comments below, and I'll try to get to them. So I'm Peter Wolf. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.